What's going on guys? My name is Josh Settlich from SettlerStrength.com. I am the BJJ Strength Coach. I'm going to tell you guys today why getting stronger is the number one thing you can do to improve your jiu-jitsu game. When it comes to strength and it comes to training and it comes to jujitsu, a lot of people think that like being strong in jujitsu uh, is like a bad thing and I think that may stem from jujitsu largely in part being popularized by Hoist Gracie submitting uh, much larger, uh, much stronger opponents with sound jujitsu technique. But as the sport and as the art of jiu-jitsu has evolved, we can't deny the fact that being stronger is only going to help your jiu-jitsu. You can never be too strong for jiu-jitsu. You can be a spaz, you know, you could have, you could be a bad training partner, but you can't be too strong. Some of the strongest jiu-jitsu athletes uh, in the, some of the top, the highest level competitors in the world aren't spazzy competitors. They're incredibly strong but they also have an incredible amount of control. And so when it comes to strength and jujitsu, they are very closely intertwined with one another. And it is so important for you as a jujitsu practitioner, whether you're just a hobbyist or whether you are a jujitsu competitor, it's extremely important for you to focus on getting stronger. And here's why. Getting stronger is gonna allow you to do two things. If you're a competitor, getting stronger is gonna allow you to win more matches and get injured less. Two very important things that are very critical for your success as a jiu-jitsu athlete. If you're a jiu-jitsu hobbyist, maybe you aren't competing, so maybe you don't care so much about winning matches and competition per se, but getting stronger is gonna allow you to perform better in training and get injured less. And now I really wanna emphasize on the part about getting injured less. The thing is, weak things break. If you have weak muscles, weak tendons, a weak support structure surrounding your bones and joints, it's going to break. And in jiu-jitsu, the entire art of jiu-jitsu is structured around taking joints and taking them past where they're supposed to bend. It's designed to crush necks, twist shoulders and knees into snap arms. That is the whole, that, that's such an enormous part of jiu-jitsu that it would be crazy to think that not participating in strength training, not focusing on getting stronger would be a good thing. Weak things break. Louis Simmons was the first person I heard say that and I couldn't agree with him more. If you have weak elbows, if you have weak shoulders, if you have a weak lower back, eventually those things are going to break. Eventually it's going to catch up to you. It's going to force you off the mat, which nobody wants. Whether you're a competitor or just a hobbyist, you don't want to take any time off the mat. We love jujitsu, we love training. And the worst thing that can happen to us is not being able to do what we love. So getting stronger is not only going to help you perform better, so you ha can have more forceful guard passes, more powerful sweeps, maybe even some more explosive takedowns if you like to mix in some takedowns in your game. You'll have tighter squeezes when you're going for different chokes and strangle holds. You'll be able to have strong, uh, a greater amount of grip strength and grip endurance so you can hang on to positions longer. You're going to perform better when you're stronger, but also you're going to get injured less. You're gonna, the stronger you are, the more significantly you end up decreasing your risk of injury. Now when it comes to what you should be doing as a jiu-jitsu practitioner or a jiu-jitsu athlete to get stronger, just start with a basic strength training program. You don't need to do anything crazy and that's where a lot of jiu-jitsu athletes I feel go wrong. They look up like best strength program and they find some crazy, you know, small love squat program, some crazy power lifting program. You don't need any of that. You're not an Olympic weightlifter, you're not a power lifter, you're not a bodybuilder, not a football player. So those templates, those strength templates that you find online, though they are great for those sports, they're not gonna be perfect and uh, fit nicely with your physical demands uh, as a jiu-jitsu athlete. So what I've done is I went ahead and created a free training program for you guys that I wanna give to you. All you need to do is just click the link below and you're gonna get a free four-week uh, full body strength program 
What, when in designing this program, I really focused on what do jujitsu athletes need most? What are the most common injury sites of jujitsu athletes? And a lot of time, that's gonna be the shoulders, it's gonna be the low back, it's gonna be the neck, and it's gonna be the hips. And so this training program is specifically designed to help you build up those areas, make those areas bulletproof while also keeping you mobile, while also keeping you flexible. That way, if you like to go inverted, you're not going to get so big that you can't go inverted anymore. That's not what this program is. This program is designed to meet the needs of every jiu-jitsu athlete that I can reach. So all you got to do if you're interested in that free full body strength program, you just got to click the link below. If you guys have questions about how you can get strong, questions about uh, how getting stronger is going to help you perform better on the mat, how getting stronger is going to help you decrease your risk of injury, all you need to do is comment below this video. You can follow me on Instagram. That's where I'm most active. If you want to get a direct line to me, Instagram is definitely the way to go. Just go to Instagram.com forward slash Joshua Setledge or at Joshua Setledge on Instagram. You guys can shoot me a DM. I answer all DMs and try to get back to you in a timely manner. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys later.